What's going on, guys? Black Scout Survival Friday night, late night live. I'm finally getting over this uh, virus. Anyway, Dave Bautista, who 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 is that? I, I didn't really know. You know, he's like a, a supporting <laughs> supporting actor. Um, but anyway, that he he believes he's relevant. You know, he's been popping up all over social media um, the past few days because he train was training with Terran Tactical. Now, if you know anything about Terran Tactical, let me let me post some photos. Here's some some posts from the Instagram along with Ter Terran Tactical Innovations. There's been lots of controversy about Terran Tactical. Now, he's trained a lot of cele celebrities. I think that's where all the celebrities go to train at. Um, th this is such a weird photo. Is he, is he left eye <laughs> dominant, right hand, left eye dominant? Weird, weirdest thing ever, right? That's not, that's not even possible. Anyway um again more more of this right so this this guy is is david dave bautista okay so he's he's another one he's another wrestler so so i say wrestler because it's like wwe wwf when you say wrestler you're, you're talking about like a collegiate greco-roman or you know, wrestler is for the, the the logan paul type wrestling Right. Okay. So that's what he was for, like The Rock, and then he merged over to become a actor, a supporting actor, not not a lead. He's not a lead lead man. He's a supporting actor, but uh, he, he's also a movie tough guy. You probably saw him in in the Chris Pratt movie with Galaxy uh, of something. I don't watch. I don't watch television. I don't corrupt my mind. But it's something to the effect of uh, Galaxies of something, and, and Chris Pratt's in it. But anyway, he's like the 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 alien guy in that. But here's some other other shots of him. He, he's a movie tough guy, so he's he uses lots of guns, lots of guns in his films. Um, AR-15s, you know, boom, all, all, all these assault weapons. But you know, he's he's one of the lefty anti-gun guys. Um, that that guy, I forgot to. Post that one of one of these things I want to send. I want to show you guys, but he's he's an anti-gun guy. This is this is the smoking gun here that I'm going to post up here in a second. But he has this put this tweet up. Okay, so this is this is what happened. So this this went on Instagram, and the two A community absolutely went bonkers because they remember, like they never forget. You know, they never forget that. Back in 2020, October 15th to be exact, my fellow gun owners, Joe Biden is pro Second Amendment. Oh, is he? He wants gun reform, a ban on assault rifles, and voluntary, all capital letters, and voluntary buyback of assault rifles owned. This is fair, all capital letters. This will, all capital letters, save lives. I don't need to overcompensate with an AR 15. Your right to bear arms is safe with Biden Harris. Twenty. What arms? They're they're coming after all of them. But overcompensate. Like I look, the guy's big. Get given that. I mean, he's taking a ton of steroids, but he's also a wrestler. So that he doesn't really know how to fight. He he doesn't really know how to fight. I mean, I would challenge this guy. I mean, yeah, he's got some size on him, but I, I would challenge this guy because he's a wrestler. He's not a real fighter. Never probably had real, real training. I've trained my whole freaking life. But anyway, so that tweet has been circling Instagram. People are, are, are furious about it because they're like, dude, you're over here making money. You're posting. And, and, and the one, the one photo where he's like, you know, he has the, the shirt on that says freedom. Did I post that shirt? Yeah, here we go. He, and he's talking about taking AR 15s. Freedom on his shirt here, right? He doesn't know what freedom is. He doesn't even know what the Constitution says. So the, the thing is, let me get back to Terran Tactical. Okay. So they, they, you know, they train almost all the celebs. Okay. But if they really cared about the, the Second Amendment, they would stop. Because when a son of a bitch like this came over here to train with me for a movie role, and he posted some some shit like this. He wouldn't be training with me, right? 
I, I'd go send him down to, to Tennessee to train or something. He wouldn't be training with me. Okay. So then he goes into an interview. Okay. This interview, he says, Bautista argues that Americans don't need an AR-15 rifle to defend themselves in homes. He said, that's all I'm trying to say. Just trying to be part of the solution. I'm confused as hell why Americans wouldn't want to get on board with trying to save lives of Americans. Now, I'm reading Bautista's direct quote, just so you know. We're not losing anything. We need all capital letters. The arguments I've seen are purely ego-driven. Not pro second. If your weapon is next to your bed as an AR, you're an idiot. If someone invades your home and you're running to get your AR, then you're fu a fucking idiot. That's what he says. If you're in a home setting with multiple attackers and you're trying to defend yourself with an AR, then you're a fucking idiot. He said it again. Guys, <laughs> he says some more things. I'll get it to a second. You have multiple attackers in a home. I just showed a video, what, last week? You guys recall? Po post it up. Post the link if you can remember. Or post the title of the video. There was five dudes stacked in someone's house, caught on camera with extended magazines. What they call extendo clips in the street. And they were literally clearing the house. So they have... Five guys with extended magazines on their Glocks. You've got a shotgun. You've got a, a six-shooter. You might have a Glock, right? And let's say, just take the AR out of the equation. I want an AR because whenever I peel through them bad guys, I don't want my rounds to stop. I want it to hit multiple of them, splinter up and destroy them, Right? Like that's the only way you're surviving that fight, unless you're John Wick, which is a movie character that trained a Terran Tactical too. So. But you get what I'm saying. Like you're not going to survive that fight unless they all run, which is a possibility, but probably not. So let me go on with what he's saying. Yeah, candy bars. That's what I call him, David. David knows. He's 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 a subscriber. He's he watches the videos. That's why I call him candy bars. That's what I like. I coined that term. That's that is a patented. I, I own the patent on it. Um, or trademark. Should I say trademark? Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. So it goes on to say this. His word verbiage. Okay. Point is to the contrary to the Trump's continuous lies that Joe Biden wants to abolish the Second Amendment. He is, in fact, does not. Bautista said, where people stand on the details is the policy is not my problem. My personal stance is that if the details will save lives, I'm in. But Bautista does ap doesn't appear to be aware Again, that multiple attacker home invasions happen all the time. And there's been plenty of times that homeowners have successfully repelled attackers with AR-15. And in fact, it's probably the only way they survived the home invasion. Now, just two times off the top of my head here, and the one I just talked about last week, luckily the homeowner was not home, so they didn't have to repel the attackers get in a firefight. But in 2017, a man shot and killed three intruders using an AR-15. And in 2019, a disabled veteran used AR-15 to defend himself against four intruders. And I personally know a guy where I got my first AR-15. I got my first AR-15 from a custom gunsmith many years ago. Same one I got that you see all the time. It's my favorite one. It was, it was custom built. Uh, I saved up money for six months to buy that thing. Anyway, he sold one to a guy that was a friend of mine that shot four guys that broke in his home, come through a, a, a window out in the country, right? He, he's rural, like he's by himself. Like these guys obviously followed him, watched his habits, and they came in his house and he shot four with AR-15. Two of them had firearms, the other two didn't. He put them all in the grave. But the other thing is, <laughs> some of you guys are, I love the comments. Funny. Anyway, let me, let me, let me show you that just, it's always hypocrites. These guys are always hypocrites. So this is an article I dug up 
from 2019. Dave Bautista does not want to be a movie star. I hate, first off, I hate freaking cats like this. I hate guys that, that play this. I don't want to be, what, then don't be a movie star. Then don't be one. It's kind of like with Nirvana. Like people always talk about Kurt Cobain. He didn't want to be famous and he kills himself because like, dude, you could have like, you could have walked away at any time. Like, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't buy it. But anyway, and, and hey, I'm a Kurt Cobain fan. I, I like Nirvana. Anyway, so let's get in this article. So let me let me just show you this these freaking hypocrites. So this article he's talking about, uh, he he's he's training here, mixed martial arts, and he's 6'4", 265, of a beta soy boy. By the way, it's not it's not real muscle. Um, anyway, talking about the movie roles. But then we get down to here. This is this is what I find intriguing. So they're at, at, they're at his house. So let me let me get down here. Look at this guy. The, ra, this is wrestling right here. This is what's called wrestling. This is what we do in the country. We wrestle. Okay. I grew up wrestling. Anyway, so let's get down here. I'm trying to have fun tonight, guys. It's, it's Friday. He hates The Rock, apparently. And I do, too. We're, we we do agree on that. All right. So, dang, where's this at? I think it's right here. Yeah, here we go. We're getting closer. Okay, somewhere here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read it. So, Bautista... Opens up. He's in his kitchen. Okay, so he's he, he's wanting to brag to this this uh, journalist here, right? And uh, so I'm I'm just gonna read it to you because I can't find it. It's somewhere in the article. But so he he is he's bragging to to the journalist, and he says Bautista opens an unassuming door. Near his kitchen. And, and if you want to read the article, read the whole article. It's in Tampa Bay Times, 2019. Just type in Dave Bautista. Type in Dave Bautista, gun, Tampa Bay Times. They'll pop up. So he, he opens an unassuming door in his kitchen. And inside there's a tiny hallway. At the other end is a vault door. He taps in a code. And he opens up a complete arsenal semi-automatic pistols assault rifles line the walls of this former tornado bunker in the back corner hangs armor so this guy just like all lefties is a freaking hypocrite he's got a whole freaking uh, a secret batman cave in his house full of assault rifle and i'm saying assault rifle because that's the term they use the lefties, the Marxists, AR-15s. He's got a whole. He's got a whole drove of them. He's got more than than you and I probably have, right? He's a millionaire. He 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 wrestled, so you know he's got a lot of money. The wrestling, they make a lot of money. So again, like Scott says, my tribe member here, rules for thee, not for me. And and like Robin says, most are Jack. Yes, most of these leftists are, are hypocrites. It's just like when you send the, the immigrants to their city, they're open, open up the borders, open them up, quit being a racist, a xenophobe, whatever you want to call it. But when you put them in there, when you implant them in their cities, whoa, whoa guys, hold, hold up, can we close off the border of our, of our state? Too many. Just like the white guys you see on the street. Hey, man, you believe in reparations? Yeah. Give me $200. And ho, ho. No, no, I don't mean me. No, 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 dude. Get, you've probably seen the videos. So, yeah, send, Martha's Vineyard. Another, another great. Another, another great. They, they uh, DeSantis flew them up there, like 12 of them. And they literally, like, stopped the city or stopped Martha's Vineyard, closed it down. They had a, a whole Martha's Vineyard meeting. Yeah, we can't do this. And there's literally a sign at the front of Martha's Vineyard. We welcome legal immigrants. Again, Bautista, he's got a he's got a Batman cave. I mean, I mean, I want the Batman cave. 
I want to be able to slide on a pole and then there's like a room full of guns, right? I I, I do have one like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm hypothetical. I do have one. I've got a pole, my Batman suit and, and guns. I, I have that. Um, keep it a secret though. Uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to share this. Some of you guys may be fans of his. I don't know. He's, 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 he's a supporting actor. So I don't know how you really can have a fan base, but maybe you like it from wrestling. I don't know, but I just wanted to share this because again, Terran tactical, man, guys, if you, if you're Terran tactical and you're supposed to be two a, and you're training these guys, you're working with these guys, like, and this is where time and time again, companies shit on the second amendment. And they do this constantly. They do it constantly. They work with lefties. They work with people that are anti-gun that are anti the policies. Like I want, I've cut so many people out. You, you, you can see how many companies hate me because I'll tell them like it is. I work, I work like five people. That's it. Like five. Because the rest of them I can't trust. And, uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not virtue sailing. I don't care what you do. It's a free country. You can work with lefties, do whatever you want. But I just, I just question you as a man if you do these sort of things. Right? Look, Dave Bautista is a millionaire. He's much more famous than I would be. And and that I care to be. I don't want to be famous. I'd rather be less well-known. But the thing is, is that if I see Dave Bautista, I wouldn't even care to even speak to the guy. F him and move on my day. But again, we have these type of people in the industry, these puppets. Biden, Kamala Harris, 2020. These guys are all puppets. They're media, media plants. These celebs, all these people work together to try to take your constitutional rights. And why? Because they don't want you to be a free American. They don't want you to defend yourself. And the list could go on. Why do you think it's First Amendment, Second Amendment? Because those are very, very important. Very, and, and, and guys that died hundreds of years ago realized those are the top two things. So... Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight, guys. Um, <laughs> keep your theme shirt these routine of yourself. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, make sure you go pick up a shirt. This is my favorite one. Protect women's sports. I love it. You know, say say no to mediocre men trying to compete against women. Um, this, is, this is one of the ones. I, I like the design. Our designer made it up. They look like a, a high school tee. So I like subtle stuff. I don't like to have three percent or, you know, I like the subtle gear, like the subtle FU. So go pick one up at blackscoutstore.com. Join our tribe. Go hang out with our tribe members. I talked to some of you, some of you guys in the uh, tribe today. So I do appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. It's Friday night. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Let me know your, your thoughts on Dave Batista because you even know who he was. <laughs> stay frosty, stay strapped, stay dangerous. Take care.